something she had covered? Donna Brazil reveals Wasserman Schultz was unusually calm about DNC hack. In her new book, Hacks, the inside story of the break-ins and breakdowns that put Donald Trump in the White House, Democrat operative Donna Brazil says Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz was unusually calm after the so-called DNC hack had occurred. According to Brazil, on June 14th, Debbie invited the Democratic Party officers to a conference call to alert us that a story about hacking the DNC that would be published in the Washington Post the following day. The call was the first time we'd heard that there was a problem. Debbie's tone was so casual that I had not absorbed the details nor even thought that it was much for us to be concerned about. Her manner indicated that this hacking thing was something she had covered, but had she? Brazil reveals former top Obama official Susan Rice noted in relation to the hack that it took a long time for the FBI to get any response from the party. In June, Wasserman Schultz claimed that neither the FBI nor any other government agency contacted her about the hacking of the DNC's computer network. The former DNC's claim was rebuffed by former DHS head Jay Johnson, who testified to the House Intelligence Committee that the FBI reached out to help the DNC but opted to reply on a private cybersecurity company for assistance. It begs the question, was Wasserman Schultz usually calm about the situation because the hack was not actually a hack? As the Gateway Pundit previously reported over the summer, an IT specialist who goes by the name the for Forensicator published a detailed report that appears to disprove the theory that the DNC was hacked by Russia. The documents were copied on July 5th, five days before Seth Rich was murdered. The Forensicator summarized the complex report into 10 bullet points. The report, as laid out by the Forensicator, based on the analysis that is detailed below the following key findings, are presented on 7 uh, July 5th, actually, 2016, at approximately 6.45 p.m. Eastern Time. Someone copied the data that eventually appears on the NGP Van 7 zip file, the subject of this analysis. The 7 zip file was published by a persona named Guccifer 2, two months later on September 13th, 2016. Due to the estimated speed of transfer, uh, yeah, the 23, it couldn't be done. In other words, uh, I remember uh, reading this. In other words, because of the gigabytes, it's technical terms, that it couldn't be done from Russia. Okay, so the most important aspect about this report is the estimated speed of transfer of 23 megabytes at which the documents were copied. It's inconceivable DNC documents could have been copied at such speed from a remote location. In other words, it couldn't be done through Russia. It had to be done through the DNC itself because of the speed necessary uh, and the time that it was done. Eastern Standard uh, Daylight Time, the settings force, yeah. This is technicalities, which I'm not familiar with, but the, the bottom line is it couldn't have been done. This was uh, reported on a while back. So uh, she seemed, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, I mean, I don't um, thrill over Donna Brazil, but let's go along with it that she wasn't shaken up as one should have been. She knew more than she is uh, actually saying. Uh, 
Brazil and also Debbie Wasserman. Yeah, they knew nothing about anything. That's all. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.